their song thrown into a sea without bottom or shore. Our sins, they are many, His mercy is more. What patience would wait as we constantly roam? What Father so tender is calling us home? He welcomes the weakest, the vilest, the poor. Our sins, they are many, His mercy is more. of kindness he lavished on us his blood was the payment his life was the cost we stood neath the dead we could never afford our sins they are many his mercy is more praise the
Good evening. Great to see everyone here tonight. Welcome to Memorial Heights Baptist Church and our kids program. I uh, want to invite you right after the service uh, to please stay with us. We're going to be heading over to the Fellowship Hall area and having some light refreshments. And uh, we're going to have a little bit of, short of a service to accommodate that. But I'm Pastor DJ. I'm excited. So thankful uh, for all of our uh, kids who are going to be part of the program, for all of our workers. But we uh, especially appreciate Amber Morgan uh, leading this and putting this together. And so we're excited for what God's going to do tonight through our kids. But let's stand for a word of prayer. We're going to sing one short hymn together. And uh, then we'll have a time of uh, prayer requests after that. God, uh, we're so glad to be gathered here tonight, and uh, God, I just pray that uh, you'd be with our kids program, God. We uh, know that you, uh, Father, uh, love children. Jesus said, suffer the little children to come unto me, for such is the kingdom of heaven. And out of the mouths of babes, uh, babes God, you have um, uh, ordained to receive praise. And so, God, be honored by what we uh, see and hear here tonight. Be with our kids and, and bless them uh, for their hard work and their practice. And we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Remain standing. Let's sing this hymn together. Come, thou long-expected Jesus, born to set thy peace. Good evening, everyone. Glad you all came out tonight. I just got a few announcements and some prayer requests. Uh, the announcements are senior lunches this Tuesday and uh, this coming Tuesday, the 20th, and we're, we'll, they be, uh, the, we will be doing our Christmas gift exchange. It's lady for lady, man for a man, limits $15, wrapped with your name inside. And the menu is turkey and dressing. Uh, the Lottie Moon Christmas offering, just want to remind you that that's going on, and uh, Ask the, you may ask the Lord how he wants to lead you in, in giving to support the missionaries on the foreign field. All that money for the Lottie Moon goes to the missionaries. There's nothing used up in the machine. It all goes to the missionaries. Prayer requests. We have a, a few. Uh, Linda Olinger, we want to keep her on our list. Dave Mawinney's aunt, Ruth. Uh, we have a two-month-old child at Ruby Memorial uh, who has had eight seizures and now has tested positive for COVID and another life-threatening issue. Bob Mallow's be tr being treated for melanoma. We want to continue to lift up Kenny Butts. He was here this morning. That was the answer to prayer. George Davis with pancreatic cancer. Uh, Debbie McKenzie, Ronnie Hess, Carla Norris, Tom Hatter, Bob and Carlene McCullough, Ruth, Ruth Ann Loy, Peggy Williams, Leroy and Betty Shipley, and the many, many others who are sick and those uh, who have lost loved ones. We have many here in our own, in congregation who've lost uh, loved ones just in the past year, past few months. 
and this is a particularly rough time for them, so we want to continue to lift those up. And we want to pray for our nation, which certainly needs it, and we want to pray for the persecuted church. So let's go to, to the Lord in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity to be in your house tonight. Lord, we, we thank you for this time of year that uh, we're as Christians, as believers, as Christ followers, we, we celebrate what, what is the, the, the birth of our Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who came to die in our place, who came to live a sinless life and give himself as a sacrifice and pay the sin debt that we could not pay, Lord. So this is a special time. Help us to enjoy it, uh, the, uh, the, the, just the festive atmosphere, a good fellowship, Father, with, with Christian brothers and sisters. And, and I certainly pray if there's anyone here tonight who's never trusted Christ as their sa Savior, they don't have a personal relationship with, with Jesus Christ, and they're not sure where they're going to spend eternity. I pray that tonight in, in song and message they would hear and respond to the gospel, Lord. And then we thank you again for the, 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 the chance to begin here tonight and for this program that's going to go, go on. We pray for everyone to involve in it we pray for the little kids that they would uh, they would not be nervous lord so we just commit this evening to you in jesus name amen all right so we are so glad each and every one of you came out tonight to support our children's ministry they have been practicing for several months now and i know they're gonna you're gonna be blessed by what they're doing they're gonna do great we are going to start our presentation with the nursery and the preschool. They will be presenting the animals of Christmas, and then we will go to our main program. The animals of Christmas each had a job to do. They welcomed baby Jesus into the world so new. Here are some donkeys all ragged and black. He carried tiny young Mary for miles on his back. Here we have some doves from rafters up so high. They sang to the baby a soft lullaby. All right, let's have some cows who shared their soft hay to make a warm place for little Jesus to lay. Next, we have some sheep who came down from the hills. They came to see the tiny child on a starry night so still. And now we have some camels, long-legged and brown. They brought the wise men to Bethlehem town. Jesus for Christ for my Christmas Day. for Redeemer born to set us free.
I search for the shepherds in the wondrous star. S is for straw on which the baby lay. But thou, Bethlehem, Ephrata, though thou be little amongst the thousands of Judah, yet out of thee shall he come forth unto me, that is to be the ruler in Israel, whose goings forth have been from of old, from everlasting. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed, and all went to be taxed, every one into his own city, and Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David. And so it was, that while they were there, the days accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Christmas comes but once a year, a time of joy and celebration. But Jesus didn't come to make a splash. He came to bring humankind salvation.
there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field. They were keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. The manger brought the start of a journey that continued to the cross where Jesus sacrificed his life. Oh, how great the cause.
And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, <coughs> praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. Did it leave his glory for tents of trees and gifts? He came to offer forgiveness and hope and to set his people free. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord hath, Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. Dying on the cross, he showed a love so great and true. He died and yet he rose again, all for me and you.
this means for us where we are to end. Okay. Let us not forget for one whose birthday we celebrate, God's one and only Son. The people that walked in darkness have seen a great light. They that dwell in the land of the shadow of death, upon them hath the light shined. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Let us not forget the cross that shadows the manger scene, for the gift he gave us was the gift of life he offers you and me. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Christmas comes but once a year. Oh, what a celebration. As today we bow before our Lord to accept his great salvation, let's go out to make this good news known to everyone. It's Christmas and Jesus has come.
All right, I, I think we should give them another round of applause. They did great. All right, so if the little ones, if you guys want to head down and get situated there, that'll be fine. I know you guys have been patiently waiting in your costumes and all. But real quick, I just want to ask anyone that had a part in this program helping in whatever way it was, if you guys could stand. I'm sure I would miss names if I singled names out. So anything you did to help, if you guys were to stand for me, whether it was making bags, making the refreshments, some of the teachers. And if you guys can just give them a round of applause for helping. When I get up here, I always try to not cry. I hope you guys were encouraged by this because it's fun to come together in fellowship and support these kids. But let us not forget the reason for Christmas. The story behind what we were just shown through these little songs and their acting, it's the good news of Jesus. And let us not get too busy in all the activities we try to fill during this time and take the, the focus off what it's really for. I've been trying to think for days of something little to say before the pastor came up and nothing was coming to me. And then I heard his message today. <laughs> and this was just one of his uh, statements that he made this morning. And it said, only Jesus can offer true and lasting joy. Our hope should be in Jesus. And that's all that matters. So let us try to remember this year and continue each and every day in our busy lives, focused on Jesus and knowing of that hope. And we want to know that if you're here, maybe visiting for the first time or hearing the story for the first time, we don't want you to leave tonight without knowing Jesus as your personal Savior. So I would ask the pastor to come up here, and he's going to close for us. I thank each and every one of you for being here. Please stay and join us for refreshments. Amen. Thank you, Amber. Big hand to all of you guys. Great job, guys. A big thank you to, again to all of our workers and uh, to Amber for uh, leading this. Thank you all so much. If you don't have a church home, uh, we would love to have you uh, worship with us on Christmas Eve at 630. We're going to have a Christmas Eve candlelight communion service and then we're going to have one service also on Christmas morning we'd love to have you with us at 10 30 in the morning on Christmas we won't because it is Christmas won't have any uh, a nursery that Sunday or children's church we do have a crying room if you have a young one that you're concerned about a baby uh, that you'd have a place to go but uh, we'd love to have you here with us on Christmas but as Amber said we're doing this uh, not just so as parents we can uh, uh, take pictures and video. By the way, that's my son in the red right there, Elijah. He <laughs> didn't know. Uh, that's my claim to fame. I'm Elijah's dad. Um, but we don't do, just do this so we can have our kids up on stage and, and take pictures. We do this, as Amber said, because the meaning of Christmas is more than family and it's more than decorations. It's more than music and gifts. It's about God's greatest gift. God sending his only begotten son into the world as a baby he was born he didn't come as the conquering king the first time he came he came uh, as a fragile human life the baby of Bethlehem virgin born but born to die and that's what he did he grew up he lived a sinless life that I can't live that you can't live because guess what we're all sinners we've all broken many rules we've all uh, sinned in many ways and we all need a Savior. But because of that need, God the Father sent His Son to be that Savior. He died for our sin. He rose again. And all we need to do, in fact, the only thing we can do, it's not by works that we're saved. The Bible says, for by grace are ye saved through faith. That not of yourselves. It's the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. You know, I'm getting some great gifts this year for Christmas. I know because I picked them out and I bought them already. I'm getting some great stuff. Thank you for that, sweetie. But the greatest gift of all is the gift of forgiveness of sins, the gift of eternal life, the gift of God's own Son. 
And to receive that gift, you need to do one thing. You need to confess by faith that you're a sinner, but that He's your Savior, that He died for you, rose again. And you call upon the name of the Lord, and God promises us that when we do that, we are forgiven of our sins, given eternal life, brought into the family of God. And uh, we invite anyone here who has not done that to do that tonight before uh, you leave. I'm not going to give a formal invitation, but I will be here after the service. We have deacons here who are available. We have deacons' wives here who are available. We'd love to pray with you if you're not sure. Please don't leave here tonight before you know that you know that you've received the greatest gift of all, the gift of Jesus Christ. Let's close in prayer. God, we love you. God, thank you for um, all of the work that went into this, the work our kids did, the work our uh, workers did. Uh, but God, we are doing this tonight to honor you and to honor your son, Jesus Christ. That's why we gather every week. We celebrate because you loved us so much that you gave your only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. So God, may we be reminded of that great gift every day. But God, especially uh, at this time of year as we drive around, see the presence, see the lights. And God, again, if there's somebody here who does not know you, I pray, God, they would not... Uh, leave here tonight before they've spoken to me or uh, to someone else uh, here uh, so that they could know that they know how to be saved. Uh, we ask God your blessing on the food and the fellowship to follow, and we uh, give you all the praise and glory in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Please stay with us. Uh, I'll be here at the front for a little bit, but please uh, stay with us tonight. You are dismissed to head over to the fellowship. Come